Please check out this video of EFF Deputy President Floyd Shivambo explaining his involvement in the VBS saga. Jackson spoke breath about all these other issues. Siblings relate on a variety of issues and everything else. But one thing which uh, I would say categorically clear is that I I am not involved in my younger brother's businesses. I did not even get to pay attention attention to it. The only time I asked about the details of these businesses was when they said it's mentioned in the VBS Mutual Bank report. But that's why I say that did you get did you get such money? What is the basis of you getting such money? And then I was then given access to the service level agreement which he had with them. And that is the only time I got to, uh, to, to, to appreciate the dynamics around that. Otherwise, I'm not involved uh, in these businesses. We do not stay in the same house. He has got his own family, he's got, he's got his own wife and children. He says an adult. He said he, he's, we're, not same, we're not the same person. <laughs> yes, but his own ID number, like his name is Brian Ansa Shivambu and my name is Floyd Shivambu. We're not the same person. We do not, we do not, and we do not frequently stay together. Like we take a lot of period without seeing each other because. We've got different obligations and responsibilities. Hello everyone, please welcome to my Shudu Entertainment and thank you so much for clicking on this video. EFF Deputy President Floyd Shivambu said this following the leak of an affidavit by the convicted former chairperson of the VBS Chipiwa Matozi who detailed how he offered Malima and Shivambu millions in a bid to stop them from speaking negatively about the bank. It is said that Action SA in Limpopo has written to the police asking for a thorough investigation into EFF's Julius Malima and Floyd Shivambu over allegations of them benefiting from the now collapsed VBS bank, adding that it is clear that the hollow assertion made by the EFF's president Malima and EFF deputy president Shivambu claiming they were not involved in the theft of municipal and pensioner funds stored at VBS are effectively refuted by Matozi's son confession. According to online news reports, Matozi is sentenced to 495 years and is expected to serve 15 years behind bars after pleading guilty to 33 charges of theft, fraud and money laundering. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please do leave your thoughts in the comment section down below what you guys think about this. Also, please remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more on entertainment and celebrity news. Bye, guys.